in New York City where the real estate is controlling you, Mr. Mayor. Frustrations boiled over this week during a community event hosted by New York City Mayor Eric Adams, where the city's housing crisis was among the issues residents wanted answers on. However, a viral interaction is making rounds after one housing activist accused Adams of being controlled by the real estate industry following rent increases on some apartments. Here's how Adams responded. Okay, first, if you're going to ask a question, don't point at me and don't be disrespectful to me. I'm the mayor of this city and treat me with the respect that would, I deserve to be treated. I'm speaking to you as an adult. Don't stand in front like you treated someone that's on the plantation that you own. Give me the respect I deserve and engage in the conversation. At the center of all this are rent increases that include a 3% hike on one-year leases for rent-stabilized apartments. It'll affect about 2 million people who live in those apartments throughout the city. Adams has defended these increases as being necessary for small property owners facing rising upkeep costs, adding that he does not control the Rent Guidelines Board, the body which approved the rent increases, but whose members he does appoint. A spokesperson for the mayor said in a statement after the incident that the Adams administration is in the process of advancing comprehensive plans to build more homes faster and across the city, while also accusing anyone who believes the mayor isn't fighting for tenants of not, quote, paying attention to his recent actions. But housing advocates like Jeannie Dubnow, the woman who called out Adams at the community meeting, have criticized the rent hikes as being too high at a time when many New Yorkers are struggling. Dubnow is an 84-year-old housing activist and molecular biologist whose family reportedly fled Europe during the Holocaust. She calls the increases, quote, a disaster for seniors living in the city. She said she hopes her exchange with Adams makes New Yorkers realize, quote, how he's more pro-landlord than any other mayor New York has had. Meanwhile, this isn't the first time that Adams has alluded to his race when faced with backlash. During the 2021 NYC mayoral primary, he asserted that his opponents had joined forces to prevent a person of color from winning. More recently, Adams claimed that there was a coordinated effort to prevent him from winning a second term because of his skin color. Listen, there's a body of people who were pleased with 30 years without having a mayor that looked like me. I, listen, you know, I upset a lot of people with my appointments, with my initiatives, uh, with my challenges, and just, you know, who I am. <laughs> you know, let's, we can't pretend as though to some in this city, I don't fit the mold of what a mayor should be in the largest big city in America.